Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel In and Out on YouTube. If you haven't seen my previous videos, do check them out. In today's video, we'll be traveling on board the famous Tram 28 of Lisbon and then visiting the Basilica de Estrela as well as the Sé de Lisboa, the Cathedral of Lisbon and then seeing the beautiful views of Lisbon city by going up the Santa Justa elevator. A hotel offered us some really good breakfast. It was quite filling and this kept us going until lunchtime. Bom dia a todas as pessoas. Bem-vindo a Lisboa. Good morning everybody. Welcome to Lisbon. Right now. We're heading to Martim Moni Square from Marques de Pombal to travel on board Tram 28. Riding Tram 28 has become one of Lisbon's most popular activities and for us it was free because we used the Lisbon card. I'll tell you more about that later. Line 28 of Lisbon's iconic trams was inaugurated in 1914 and today it has a 7 km route between Martim Moniz and Prazeres by the neighborhood of Campo de Ori. It survived the rise of automobiles and of the bus by being the best way to squeeze through the narrow streets and corners of the older districts for being an attractive tourist route and for its clean energy. It is now an essential part of Lisbon's life and the city would lose part of its soul without the constant rattling of these singular yellow boxes. The entire trip takes around 48 minutes to 1 hour. The route of Tram 28 starts from Amarti Monish Square. It then goes to Grasa, where there are many beautiful viewpoints, as well as a church and the convent of Grasa. The next stop is Calçada de Sao Vincente, where you can visit the monastery of St. Vincent. The next stop, Largos das Portas do Sol. This is the closest stop from Tram 28 if you want to visit the Castelo de São Jorge. And there are also some viewpoints here as well. The next stop is the Sé de Lisboa, the Cathedral of Lisbon. And also you can visit the St. Anthony's Church. I made a video on that, so make sure to watch that as well. Then it's the Rua da Concessão. This is the Baixa stop or the downtown stop. And there are many famous landmarks of Lisbon here, such as Praça do Comércio, Rua Gosta, as well as the Rua Gosta Art. Next stop is Praça Luís de Camões. This is the shopping street of Lisbon, as well as some attractions such as a Bica Funicular and a viewpoint. Then the next stop is Estrela, where it has one of the most beautiful basilicas, the Basilica de Estrela. And then finally, Campo Ori or Prazer. And this is the last stop of Tram 28. The Royal Basilica of Estrela is one of Lisbon's most beautiful monuments and one of its most monumental churches. It's a baroque and neoclassical building built by Queen Maria I in 1790 in thanks for the birth of her son. The tomb of the Queen, who died in Brazil, is found inside as well. The interior is covered in polychrome marbles and paintings by Italian artists as well as Portuguese artists and many more. The exterior of this basilica with a large Rocco dome and two bell towers was inspired by St. Peter's in Rome and Mafra Palace outside Lisbon and features monumental sculptures and figures alluding to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Unfortunately, at the time we went, there was a celebration at the Mass inside the church and hence we couldn't see the church properly. Let me take you for a ride Dancing with the lights Lisbon's Cathedral or the Church of Santa Maria Maior is one of the city's oldest and most robust monuments. It dates back to 1147 and survived battles and the devastating earthquake of 1755. It suffered countless alterations over the centuries and ended up with a mix of the Romanesque, Gothic and Baroque styles. The 
Upstairs is the treasury of the church with a collection of illuminated manuscripts, silverware, sculptures and a priceless monstrance from the 18th century made of precious gems. You can also snap a beautiful photo of the view of downtown Lisbon from the windows of the cathedral. It's lunch time and today we have Bifana. It's a traditional pork sandwich of Portugal eaten with bread and with a topping of a little mustard and also sardinhas asadas, grilled sardines, one of the most famous delicacies of Portugal. The Santa Justa elevator is one of the most famous monuments of Lisbon. It's a century-old iron tower that links downtown Lisbon to the Chiado district up on the hill, which is accessed by a walkway at the top. It offers some of the best views over the centre of Lisbon and though it was built for public transportation, it's now more of a tourist attraction. It's 45 meters high and is one of Lisbon's most photographed landmarks. The elevator was inaugurated in 1902, being built by Raul Mencia de Pondard, a student of Gustav Eiffel. It makes use of iron with the elevator featuring a neo-gothic style. Originally powered by steam, it was electrified in 1907. It was classified as a national monument in 2002. We could go up the elevator and come down for free as we had the Lisbon card. If you're wondering what the Lisbon card is, it's the official tourist pass of Lisbon city. We took a card for 72 hours, but there's also an option for 24 as well as 48 hours. With the Lisbon card, you can access all the public transport of Lisbon. That includes the metros, buses, trams, funiculars, as well as the elevador de Santa Justa, and get free access into Lisbon's major attractions. Or if not free access, you may get a discount. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and also tell me what was your favorite part of the video in the comment section down below. Also, check the Portugal Travel Series playlist on YouTube in the description. I'm leaving the link over there. And also subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any more Portugal travel videos coming up. Ciao!